folks, we're back from Monster Marine. Today we have a 2009 Champion 210 Elite. It's, both, it's really nice, really clean, sitting on a factory trailer with a folding tongue. Stainless steel trailer fenders, mag wheels. It's a dual console. It's got a Mercury Pro SX 250. A draw jack plate goes up and down on a lever. It's got a power pole, stainless steel propeller, some cool sticker graphics. I'll take those off if you want. So it has black metal flake, orange metal flake, and then a white accent. Really, really good looking boat, actually. I'm not a bass boat fan. Really not. I'm not going to lie to you guys and tell you I am. I'm not. I like weak board boats. But every now and again, you run across one and we end up with it. But, um,. It's a nice boat. Everything works on it. It's got everything. We'll go inside, show you all the stuff, all the features. All right, folks, we're back inside this 2009 Champion. Sorry if I'm a little uh, not as talkative as usual. Um, I lost my voice the other day at a boat manufacturer. It's another story for another day. Um, you got dual captain seats right here. Dual consoles keep you out of the weather. Duck your head down. Put your safe face on, all that good stuff. You got rear chair, front chair. You have uh, tons of storage. We're gonna, you got a uh, 36 volt trolling motor, motor guide. You got your Lowrance HDS5 Gen 2 up front. You got your seat right here. You got your uh, little tackle storage right here. Now, you got your fish measuring thing. You know, measure how long your bass fish is. I don't bass fish, so don't ask me any questions. You want to know how to go king fishing? You want to go tuna fishing? You want to go marlin fishing? Ask me. I'm a saltwater guy. Bass fishing, not my thing. Done it before, not my thing. But, got a ton of storage in this boat. Nice and deep. We're Dan standing. There's more storage in here, as well as a boat cover. Yeah, that's right. This thing has a boat cover. And I'm gonna get to the most exciting part in a minute. Rod storage. Nice helm, you got a little tackle station right here. Now, at the helm, you have tilt steering. Okay. You have your jack plate. Up, down, trim tilt. You got battery voltage display right here for your trolling for your trolling motor batteries you have your uh, miles per hour your trim your water pressure and you have your miles per hour and then if we flip this key on you have a digital display right here it'll show the hours but it has 530 hours on it it's gonna beep at us because it's starting um, you got all your factory switches for everything right here they're actually push button you hit the power main power on you got your power pull control put the power pull down I love playing with little gizmos and gadgets like that. I don't know, maybe it's because I'm like a little kid. Like this boat's pre-wired with, uh, as well as the Lowrance Electronics. It also has the uh, Hummingbird, where you can attach a Hummingbird. It has this still, it's for a Hummingbird. Plugs right in if you want. You uh, just mount it right here where a ram mount was. Um, got your center console right, you got your other side console right here with the blood box. So you have Two big, uh, two big accesses to your live wells. Right there, there's a divider for it in the center. You got storage on either side. Carpet on this boat is in great shape. It's not pulling or peeling. It's always been garage kept with a cover on it. You have Sea Star hydraulic steering, as well as a four bank battery charger and blue top dual Optima batteries for the trolling motor. Um, this boat's really nice. Um, now, the one thing that I'm going to tell you, if you follow professional bass fishing, this boat was owned by a professional bass fisherman named Jason Quinn. I didn't understand it. We got the boat from a buddy. He's a he's a uh, bass boat dealer, and he came up came across the boat, and uh, it's got a silver spoon glued right there. I'm not kidding. That thing's glued. So the story that I'm told is why this is there is because everybody said the only reason why he made it in professional bass fishing is because he was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. And it's kind of like a 
you know, uh, an F you to the world. Um, so I just thought that it was funny. Champion builds a really nice boat. This is the V-Wing hull design. Rides great and chop. Nice boat. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Good luck bidding. Good luck buying.